Well, over the past several weeks, we've introduced you to nearly all of the Houston area athletes who will be going to Rio to compete in the Summer Olympics. And tonight, we introduce you to the strongest. They jump in, they know what to do. Tim Swords Garage in League City is a beehive of activity each evening. Swords has been coaching weightlifting for over 30 years, and he trains athletes of all ages in his garage. But he was blown away when Sarah Robles showed up at his door two and a half years ago. Sarah's probably about a one in 20 million <laughs> athlete. And I, 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 I say that because she's a unique mix of mobility, uh, awareness, uh, tremendous natural body strength, and, and, uh, and speed. The 28-year-old Robles had already competed in the 2012 Olympics and finished seventh, but she wanted to get better and she wanted to be trained by swords. He's one of a handful of coaches in the country that's taking kids all the way from the very beginning of their career as a little kid all the way up to the world championship level, and I didn't want to have a coach that needed a learning curve. Sarah moved here from Arizona, where she had trained before, and she says when she found out her Olympic training site would be in less than luxurious surroundings, Swords Garage, she never hesitated. You know, you got the lawn mowers there, you got your storage, you know, your wife's coming and dinner's ready, you know. I'm, I'm used to that from, from growing up. From these humble surroundings, Sarah and Coach Tim have high hopes for surprising many and winning a medal in Rio. But surprising people is nothing new for Sarah. I think it's kind of cool to surprise people when they when they look at me. They kind of probably see, you know, you're the stereotypical overweight American or whatever, but they don't really realize the, the athletic abilities and prowess that I have. So it's really kind of cool, like, oh, you're a two-time Olympian? Like, what? I, I love to be able to surprise people and to educate people about um, what our bodies can do and help inspire women. There's, there's so many facets of, of what I do that, that keep me going and inspire me to do this all the time. And we wish Sarah all the best in Rio. And because only part of Coach Tim Sword's travel expenses are being paid for by the U.S. Olympic Committee, there's a GoFundMe account that's been set up titled Coach Tim's Olympic Rio Fund. You can find it online if you're interested in supporting the cause. <laughs>